Welcome to fish, okay? Everybody and every good menu should have fish on, its rest, on the menu itself. What I want to do before I start any preparation today, I want to talk to you a little bit about the classifications of fish because you're going to need to know this as part of your uh, course, your program and so on, and also what you're doing within the industry as well. So what we've got here is we've got a round fish, uh, there's a beautiful mackerel, line caught, talk to you about that in a moment. And we've got a stunning turbot here as well, flat. Okay, and here's the difference between the two. When you have a round fish, uh, what you've got is you will have two fillets either side of the fish. So this is what we classify as being round. And when we have a flat fish, such as this beautiful turbot, we will have a fillet there, there, and also underneath and this is flat because it's a bottom feeder it uh, swims at the bottom of the sea and this mackerel beautiful colors there it was almost a bit like a tiger stripe and so on on it as well but before we prepare any fish whatsoever we need to think about is it fresh so you can go into any supermarket and this is a good exercise for you guys to do and have a look to see what's on the counter and you can identify whether that fish is fresh or not. So I'm going to give you a couple of pointers here to how to tell that fish is fresh. So if we just take the mackerel here itself, what we've got is, and what we're looking for, and this is the telltale sign because we can't handle it in a supermarket, is we look at those eyes. Are they bright? Are they shiny? Okay, and they're not sunken. So when something starts to decompose, what will happen is they will go dull and cloudy, and also they will start to sink inside the head as well. So that means it's been around a few days, okay? Every piece of fish should have, if you feel it and it's slimy, that doesn't mean it's off. It's got natural sea slime on it. Again, that's another quality point that you are looking for. Also as well, we look at the, the uh, flesh. If you press it, it should be firm and it bounces back straight away. So you will notice that this is actually quite firm. It's been line caught. This has probably only been caught about a day or so ago. So you've got that lovely firm flesh on there. And another telltale sign as well. If you look just behind the gills, what you're looking for is that deep red colour, almost blood colour as well. And that will say that's a quality point of that fish, so it's not been hanging around for quite some time. And most importantly, smell. Should it smell off? No. What you should get is the natural smell of the sea, okay, or the river that it's from. It shouldn't be unpleasant. So they're the kind of quality points that you're looking at. And it's important for you guys to know as well, because you're going to be the future chefs of the industry, how, what fish to choose when you put it on your menus. And there's a massive thing at the moment, and this is what you need to be able to look at as well, is sustainability. Now, sustainability means is are we catching this fish and are we making sure there's still plenty in that sea or in that river, yeah, for us, for the future, for the few guys, okay? So we need to think about is it sustainable? Is it on an endangered list? Are we catching too much? So you need to be looking at that as well. And I'll give you an example of this. So not so long ago, uh, and if you've been watching the TV about Cornish fishing and so on, mackerel was actually an endangered fish at one stage because there wasn't enough in those waters. Now it's starting to replenish. The fishermen themselves are only allowed to catch a certain amount of quota. And what they're doing is now, they're using different fishing methods, such as this would be line caught. So they're dragging a small line in the sea with tiny hooks on, no bait. If you've ever caught mackerel before and been fishing for mackerel, what they will do is they'll see something, I've done it before on a fishing rod with a little bit of tin foil, they'll see something shiny and they'll think it's a white bait and they'll go for it. Very, very easy to catch. So again, it's line caught. So what it is, is rather than using a net and everything that comes up in that net, we're not throwing back into the sea. We are not discarding it, and that's important. And fishermen nowadays obviously only fish certain days of the year, and that's all dependent on the weather, is they're using different types of nets as well. So some of the holes are slightly larger. So what's happening is, is the smaller fish are being allowed to escape and swim back into the sea so they can grow and, and, and breed again in the future as well. 
Look at seasonality as well. That is so important. You don't want something that's being caught that is in season. So for example, lobsters, if a fisherman catches a lobster and underneath it, it's full of eggs, they're not allowed to land it. We need to be putting those back into the sea to be able to replenish our stocks as well. So there's plenty of sites and so on out there for you to look about, is looking at those. One is the quality points and two about sustainability, what's in fashion. We need to educate the people within this country as well, because most of the fish that we land and shellfish we land is being shipped abroad. Our high uh, turnover of fish within this country is salmon, cod, haddock, tuna and prawns. There is so much more out in the sea and in those rivers that we can use. And a lot of this as well is now actually being farmed. So we're actually farming it out into the sea. And we'll go through a few of those things. I would like We've got some sea trout a little bit later on and I'll discuss that with you as well. But those are the things that you need to be looking for. Those are the things that you need to take into consideration before you start putting these kinds of things on your menus. We need to make sure that there's plenty in that sea for the future for you chefs in the industry later on in your lives.